What's up, everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. I don't know where to look. I always look at the thing, but I should look at the camera. This video is interesting for me because you guys know that I like my alternative energy research. I like data. I like deciphering data. I like going through all the things, right? Well, in this case, we're looking at one of the flights we had after we added the new motor controller and what happened during this whole entire event. So we get to pull the data log off the actual plane, look at it in real time, go through each piece, try to decipher what happened, which is super cool to me. And uh, that's what this video is about. So I'm gonna show you the snippet of the end of the flight, and then we'll go through the data. It's kind of long and drawn out because I'm teaching Riley what I did, how I did it, and how I deciphered what was going on. Then I show you the fix, and then at the end, if you're interested, I'll post the entire flight on here. It's a it's a long flight. This is the first time. Um, this is what in my notes here it says it's flight um, flight five. So this is flight five. So we you saw flight one went crazy. Flight two, three, and four we didn't fly it for a very long time, and so we didn't see this problem. So on flight five, we decided to go out for a very long flight. And just and, and figure out uh, if the plane could go and how far basically how long could it fly everyone's going crazy in there so that's what this is about um, so enjoy you know it's one of those things where if you're interested you're interested if you're not if you're not that's cool but I love going through the data so short snippet of the end data fix and then I'm, then I'll post the whole flight all right peace out thanks for watching guys appreciate it leave a comment bye Okay, Riley, we are looking at the data uh, from the very last flight we took. Now, on the very last flight we took, what exactly happened at the end? Do you remember? It was losing altitude, it so was, it crashed. It was, well, it sort of crashed. It yeah. landed in the bushes and it poked a hole in the wing. It did. We fixed it already. I didn't even film yeah. it. So, that's what happened. It lost altitude. I want to show you something cool. So we got all this data. All right. This is the last flight. Look how look how crazy this flight was. Whoa. So so people on the internet know. Stabilize is red. Return to landing is orange, which was most of our flight. Uh, auto tune was yellow, so we didn't get too much auto tuning time in there. A lot of green. Uh, you mean a lot of orange? Um, <laughs> Well, a little, I mean, a little bit of green, a, a little bit of FW, uh, FBW A and B. So anyway, what I want to show you is it's a, barely any of FBW B. Yeah. So I'll sp I'll speed up the flight just so we can kind of see. And I made the plane really big so we can see how big it is. So so this is a lot faster than real time, obviously. <laughs> But what you can see is the data up here. You see the data up here that I got pulled up? See that line moving? So I'll pause this for a second. So here's what's really cool. I can actually like zoom in. Oh, I need to do it up here. I can zoom in to a, a spot like this. And then I can see the actual data. Whoa. And I can see it exactly what's happening. 
So why did it lose altitude? So, why did it lose altitude? Let me show you what I think happened. And you can judge for yourself. I'm going to try to move this whole thing out of the way. Get out of here. Alright. <laughs> so, let's go to a spot where it was flying under our control. Um, Which is orange? Or so, I don't have... I don't have that on here. Like, if we go down here, see this color down here? Yeah. Okay, so... In order for me to find that, it's a bit tricky. But let's go here to the... Let's go to this one. So, where exactly is that? That's way over here. So, we'll go over here. And it's probably right here. Alright, so I'm going to zoom into this area. Now, I want you to see something that's really cool. So, you can look at our little, uh, if I get my mouse out of the way, you can look here, we got the battery current. Okay, that's the blue. See how it drops down, goes up, drops down, goes up, see it, the battery current? RCN3, that's the throttle. Okay, that's the stick. Okay, uh, and apparently, I do not, I apparently turned off. So we can turn on RC out 3. So the computer, or Audro Pilot, says, hey, what do you want me to do with the stick control? Do you want me to automatically do it, or do you want to do it, right? So, there we go. So now I turned it on. So you can see, orange is my stick on my throttle, right? What I'm doing with the throttle. And purple is what Ardru Pilot is putting out. So, here we're auto-tuning. Here we're flying it in F. B W A. Here it's in stabilized. Something something. Here's in return to, to landing. So this is when I'm not in control, right? Is stabilized when you're in control. Yep, I'm in I'm in control and stabilized. So if you look right here, you have the speed in red, the altitude in green. So you can see the red. You see how it sped up and slowed down, and sped up and yep. slowed up. And then you have the altitude, so you can see I'm going up, and I start going down. So we have all the data. We can look at it. So let's put it together. This is what my throttle's doing on my hand. This is what the, is what the, the, the beagle bone's doing, yeah. right? Audrey Pilot. So if you look here, if I have the throttle high, then it's outputting high. See that? And the current is on, right? If I pull the throttle down to zero, Arju Pilot put it down to zero, and look, the current goes down. See how there's no current there? Mm -hmm. So throttle up, current up, throttle down, current down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, but look what happens when it goes by itself. I have the throttle high, and then it loses some signal to my remote, and it goes to low. So if, it, if I was trying to fly it, it would basically throttle to zero and crash. But since it was returning to home, it held the throttle high. See it? And then it was gaining altitude, gaining altitude, and it got up here and said, I'm too high, I need to go back down. Because we're trying to hold an altitude, uh, and I don't know what it is on here, but it's somewhere in this range. So it went high, Arju Pilot shut the throttle off. You see the current is on, right here? Mm -hmm. And the current goes down. Yep. So my remote's dead. But Arju Pilot's controlling the throttle and also the current. Okay, if we look at the current, battery current's around 20 amps. It's a good 20 amps around a good flying speed. So, if we pay attention here, we can hover over, and this is really nice because we can see it. See the throttle input is 1202. That means it couldn't get receiving signal. It was lower than what the zero was on my throttle. But Arju Pilot said, I'm good, I got you. I'll put you up here, and the current right now is 33 amps when it's on the high, and down here in the smaller area, it's at 23 amps. But when it wants to lose altitude, look what happens. It went like to negative zero. Uh, well, yeah, it's floating around. It's floating around zero. But Arju Pilot says I'm off. Altitude's really high. It's trying to lose altitude. And if we play, uh, if we play this, we can actually see that the plane goes up. And then it goes back down. <laughs> yeah, no, it went real fast. Now, here's the cool thing. We can go look at the end of the flight. So let's put this at the end of the flight. 
and let's look at what the data shows us. So I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it. Okay. Don't whistle, it's really loud on the camera. Okay. So let's look at the data. First of all, let's play, let's just play the end of the flight. Okay. So here's what happens at the end of the, at the end of the flight. Alright. It's flying down. It's flying down. I switch it into my mode. It flies over here and it tries to return to home and loses altitude. Boom. And then it hits a big bush. Yeah, it hit a big bush. So, let's look at actually what's happening here. All right, I'm gonna pause it. Look at, look at the data. Just look at the data. All right, so here's my throttle, here's my throttle. I switch it into F, B, W, or F, B, W, A, B. So if I zoom in and I go down, we can see, uh, maybe it's better up here, but we can see that I have control of the plane, right? The throttle and the current is following me, mm -hmm. right? Whatever I do, it follows me. But look what happens right here. We have a current spike, which is the blue, and then look what happens to the current. It drops. Uh, to nothing. Well, look at where my throttle is. My throttle's at 17, it's trying to put out 1600, or, yeah, 1600. Well, that's the same it was it was doing earlier, but it was at 20 amps, right? Look, drops down, 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 but the throttle's still on. But it's not pulling any current. What is the problem? Right? Don't know. But let's keep looking. Look what happens to the altitude. The altitude is in, or the speed is in green, and the altitude is red. Look what happens to the altitude. We're climbing up. Kind of go down, go up, and then we go down until we hit the ground here. But if we look at the speed, it gets slower and slower and slower and slower and slower and slower until it finally hits the ground at about the same time as the altitude. But look at the current. It's flatlined all the way down here at 2 amps. 3 amps. Over here is about 5, 6 amps. Okay, when it flickers, it's the time. That's the time. That's why it's flickering with 26 on there. So that's what's happening. But look at what the throttle's trying to do. It's maxed out. Throttle's all the way up. It's trying to gain altitude. It's trying to gain altitude, but it's not pulling any battery current. So here was my clue. You see how this slowly drops off? It doesn't just go Yeah. Okay, that tells me the motor controller was getting hot and it was drawing less current, less current, less current to keep it from burning up. It, it's, a smart, it's a smart enough controller to know that if it keeps throttling it will catch on fire. So instead of over, that would have been bad. Yeah, so instead of overheating it throttled down, throttled down, throttled down. But not, not by the control circuit, but by itself, all by itself. It was ignoring our input and throttling down. So that way it wouldn't blow up. And that way it wouldn't blow up and look what happened, it never recovered until the plane hit the ground and finally it was like, I'm done. So, that gives me enough clues, and this was after uh, about a 15 minute, 14 minute flight. That's so, pretty, that's pretty long. That's a pretty long flight. And the, Usually people only fly for like 10 to 5 minutes. Yeah, 5 to 10 minutes max. So, because they got small batteries. We so, big one. Yeah. So, what I decided to do is pull out the motor controller. Here it is. And it was tucked inside the plane, so it didn't have any air across it, right? It just gets hot. Well, this is heat shrinked. Look at it. What does it look like to you? Well, it looks like it tore up there, and those are supposed to be way out there. This is okay. Okay. But look at the sticker. It was shrinking? Yeah. Because it was... What causes that? Heat. And it's heat, heat shrink. Exactly. So it's going to shrink and shrink until it gets super tight. And then it'll rip if it gets too hot. Which is just like that. It's just like that. And the sticker was going to peel off just like that. On the edges, in the middle first. Because it's shrinking. Right? So, that tells me it got too hot. 
Now luckily it saved itself, so what we can do is we can put a heat sink on here, stick it out the bottom of the plane, and then it'll, it'll be cooled by the air going over it. So with enough evidence here, and enough evidence here, I'm suggesting that we can only fly for about 15 minutes before this gets too hot, unless we cool it off somehow. Yeah. Now the motor, I was worried about the motor getting hot, but the motor's got air going across it. Yeah. Every time we've landed the plane, that motor, I could just touch it right away. Not even that hot, which is surprising to me. That means we could probably bump the amperage up, make it even faster if we want, but that's not really the goal, but we could. Let's go. So then we're going to fix this. We're going to stick this out of the bottom of the plane with a heat sink and make it work. So pretty cool though that we can see the data, right? I didn't know what was going on. So. And, and you can see exactly what's happening. And it's, it's really funny to me because, you know, it's like it gained altitude here because it cruised down really far, but at the exact same time the current was going down. So it coasted. It just coasted all that distance without any or hardly any it's forward thrust. It's all green, thrust. that's why. That was when I was controlling it. But isn't that crazy how far it coasted? I mean, look how far it, it flew, and this plane is like way oversized for our scaling. It just flew and flew and flew and flew, and it just kept going, and eventually it just ran out of steam. It couldn't hold itself up. Now, if you look at my controls, I was controlling it here, um, or at least I had signal, and I was trying to get it to go, but it doesn't matter. It was already trying to go the whole time. So that tells me the control system was working perfect. We had a, we had a mechanical, electrical failure. So it's kind of cool to see that all the data is here to prove Whoa, to us. Right? Yeah, it's, the elevation is not right. But it's cool that we can prove to ourselves that we can basically show that this was exactly what happened. So I think that's pretty cool. I spent a lot of time just digging through the data, but I had to show you that because I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> kind of neat, right? Yeah. So now we know we could fly longer. We just got to get this cooled off. Which is good because we only used 30% uh, of our battery. For that entire flight? And we flew for 15 minutes. So we could easily fly for 30 minutes. Probably more close to 40 minutes if yeah. we're careful. And we can change a lot of this to get the current to be lower so that we don't... Uh, we can basically minimize the current to get it to cruise at just the right speed where it uses the most efficient power curve, right? We tried to do the efficiency with all of our papers. Remember, we did all this data so we could figure out our efficiencies. So we kind of have an idea of what we're looking at. So anyway, cool, right? Mm-hmm. Now you can use it. Okay, here we are fixing the motor controller problem. Hello, Jackson. Hello, we're fixing the motor control problem. Yep. So I glued a, more boards, the facing the other direction, because the bottom was getting weak, and that's where all that big battery sits. See it in there? I was a little concerned about that. And then also, chopped a big hole down here. Oh yeah. And uh, we, I, Riley's editing video, so I made this happen. I took a, an old heat sink. Can you loosen this right here? There you go, and they loosen that one. All right. So I took an old heat sink out of my heat sink old collection, rod right bar, and uh, took some old welding rod ends, glued them, uh, well, come on now, glued them into the bottom, and then I added some heat compound between there and the original piece of aluminum on there. And uh, yeah, that fits right in that hole down yonder. And then this will be sticking out of the bottom so it can be cooled off by the air blowing by it. So I'll get that all in there and then we'll take a peek at it. Hold it up, hold that down, there you go. So there it is. I'm gonna probably put a, there's a threaded hole there, put just a bar across the front and wedge it in here so it don't move, but what do you think about that? It's so amazing. <laughs> now in the air, flies past the fin, it should cool it off. We should be fine. If it ran for 15 minutes with no cooling, then that much cooling should make it run forever. Should be fine.
Yep. See the GoPro attached? Yep. Ow, ow, okay, that hurt. Yeah,